three, two. Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Gola, and I'm a COPC physician here to talk about one of our books from the Great Beginnings Book Club. I have Elias with me here today, and we're going to talk about The Hate You Give, written by Angie Thomas. Thanks for being here, Elias. Thank you. So tell me, um, what is the significance of the title? Yeah, so the significance of the title, The Hate You Give, um, they say in the book, uh, that it's allowing our kids to be a subject of violence and hatred. And I just uh, feel that that's really deep for the book because when you look at our world nowadays, mm -hmm. kids are really targeted in violence and hatred, whether it's on the internet or in the real world, and that kids and teenagers have to deal with this. Yeah, hatred. I would agree. Um, tell me some of the main themes of the book. Yeah. So the main themes of The Hate You Give involves racism, police brutality, black culture, dueling identities, injustice, and social action. My favorite theme, mm -hmm. my favorite theme of all of these is the dueling identity mm -hmm. because the main character of this book, Star Carter, mm -hmm. has to deal with changing her identity around different people. So when she's at home with her family and friends, she feels as herself, she doesn't have to change. Mm -hmm. But when she goes to school, it's a dominantly white school and she feels that she has to change her identity for them, and change mm. her personality. When in reality, you don't have to, you just have to be mm. yourself. I would agree with that. And I think that dueling identities is definitely a topic that people your age could learn from, for sure. Were there some quotes in the book that really stood out to you? Yeah, there were a couple of quotes that really struck me. Um, one that I really liked says, what's the point of having a voice if you're going to be silent when you shouldn't be? I really like that quote because mm -hmm. when something is wrong, you really need to speak up for mm -hmm. what's right. For especially sure. when it's against someone, you need to stand up for them. And especially when it's yourself, you really need to speak up for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you can't let somebody's words just break you down and you like don't have a say about it you need to stand up for yourself with your words you just can't be silent about yeah. something i would definitely agree with that was there another quote that stood out to you yeah the other quote i really liked uh says i can't change where i come from or what i've been through so why should i be ashamed of what makes me me mm. i really like that quote because especially with kids and teenagers or even mm -hmm. adults and younger kids mm -hmm. They feel very um, insecure about where they come from, what they look like, or who they are. Mm. Um, but really, all you have to do is just embrace yourself and who you are, which it's not that easy. But if you can embrace who you are and um, just love yourself, it's much easier and life is just happier that way. Yeah, and I agree. I think where you come from really shapes you as an individual and makes you exactly who you are. And that's why it's so awesome that we're so different and um, communities can learn from each other. Uh, what would you say that you liked most about the book? Yeah, so in the book, I really liked how the idea of being scared to speak out, but you're doing it anyway and having that courage to speak up mm. is really shown throughout the book especially when um, Star's friend was experiencing such like injustice with the cops mm. and she needed to speak up for that. Mm -hmm. And also I really liked how they show the theme, like I said earlier, the dueling identity, how she has to change who she is mm -hmm. when she's at home and then when she's at school. Sure. And that's just, it shows the struggles of what a teenager might have to face in the real world. Yeah, for sure. And how would you say then the book made you feel? Yeah, so the book made me feel a lot of emotions throughout the story. Um, one of the emotions was like at times of injustice, for example, Star's friend, um, he was actually shot by a cop when he didn't cause an actual crime. Mm. And so that made me feel really angry because like when you're reading that and it's just so hurtful to mm -hmm. hear about that. And 
but I was really appreciative about how the book shows black culture throughout the book, showing the different music, clothes, um, just showing all the black cultures throughout the book. I really yeah. love that. Yeah. And um, another emotion was feeling disgust whenever there was like racist words or any racism in the book. Mm -hmm. For example, one of Star's ex-friends, Haley, said that, well, she said to Star during a basketball game, mm -hmm. go after the ball like it's fried chicken. Oh, wow. And as an African-American, for Star, that's really hurtful. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. think about that stereotype. And, yeah. So those are tough topics, right? So I think that a book like this is a great way, especially for a teenager like you or other teenagers, to kind of work through those emotions, right? Because these are really real-world topics that will come up. Um, and it's a great way to dig deeper into those emotions in a positive way, right? Um, so I'll ask another question. Um, it's actually my last question. What did you learn from the book? Yeah, so I learned a lot of things from this book. It was so educational when it came to like having that bravery isn't having no fear. Mm. It's having fear, but still doing an action that will make you scared. Like you need to have the courage to do something even though you might be scared doing it. And also, it also taught me to speak up for what's right. Always stand up for someone. If they're being bullied, something is wrong, you need to speak up for that. For sure. Um, and one of the most important things I learned in this book is to embrace who you are as a person. And you can't change your background, what you look like, or who you are, your personality, that's who you are. So yeah. you can love yourself and embrace who you are. I love that. So I love with you take, with those points we'll take away that this is a great addition um, to our Great Beginnings book club. Um, and I think that people of all ages could really learn from just believing in themselves. Awesome. Well, you can find this and other great books on our website listed below. So check out the Great Beginnings book club.